Okay, next page, page 54, you have this known as the debit note. Remember, in goods returning process, you have debit note followed by the credit note, right? Okay, must know the goods returning process in details. So debit note I have written here, it is sent by the customer to the supplier, okay? And is together with the goods that the customer wants to return. So Abu is customer, DIY is supplier. You should have written all this, right? Okay, when I was talking about debit note the other day. So this document is to request for reduction in the previously received invoice. That's the line that, that they are looking for, okay? If they ask you what is the purpose of a debit note, why your customer sends a debit note, that's what you should write. Request for reduction in the previously received invoice. Because customer return goods, if you don't send this document, the supplier would assume that you only want to return goods without any refund. Okay, that's the reason you need to have, that's the reason you need, you need to have this document. Okay, uh, let me write here purpose. This document don't record because this 52.3 is an unconfirmed amount yet. It's just an amount that the customer requested to deduct. Okay, it's an, un it's an unconfirmed amount. So don't record this document, must remember. So right here, dash, 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 dash. Okay, so don't have to record this debit note. Okay, you can see that on this debit note, why, why Abu return goods to, to DIY? They have stated the reasons here. One carpet is torn, one water bottle leaks. Okay, one carpet is torn, one water bottle leaks. That's the reason Abu gave to DIY about returning the goods. Next document, credit note. Okay, following debit note is always a credit note. Sent by whom to whom? Supplier to customer this time. To do what? to confirm the allowed amount of reduction in the previous invoice. Debit note is a request, credit note is a confirmation. Okay, so uh, okay, you have a question. Okay, let me share with the rest, then they know what I'm answering here, okay? Okay, one of you asked me, does that mean that you don't need to record anything from the debit note? Yeah, don't, need, don't have to record debit note at all. Yes, don't have to record debit note at all. Remember earlier we have mentioned it on the first page. We don't have to record debit note. We also don't have to record statement of account. Okay, these two documents never recorded. They are never recorded. Okay, yeah, so remember that. Mm, let's continue. Let me scroll down first. Okay, the credit note here. So credit credit note. Is, is to follow the debit note, okay? After debit note has been sent by customer to the supplier, supplier would check the goods, see whether there's any problem with the goods return or not. Then supplier would send a credit note to the customer. To do what? To confirm how much can be allowed to be deducted. So you see, we read the note here. After all the water bottles have been tested, it says all the water bottles have been tested by filling up with water prior to delivery. Prior to means before. Prior to means before. Therefore, return is not approved for the one unit of water bottle. Okay, so indirectly, DIY is blaming Abu for having broken the water bottle. Okay, the fault is on the part of Abu. That's what DIY is telling Abu. That's the reason the only approved amount to be deducted is 32.3. So this is the confirmed amount that can be deducted in the previous invoice. So do you need to record this? Yes, we need to record credit note. For goods returning process, we always record the credit note only. I told you before on this page, this is where you have all the details about goods returning process. The first stage is the one on top. The second stage is the one uh, at the bottom. Okay, and we always record goods returning based on credit note only. Okay, everything is here. Okay, let me get back to there. Okay, let's record this. Let's record this. 
Now, again, we need to be in both person's shoes respectively. On the left, we are Abu. We are Abu. That means we are customer, right? You should record this into purchase return journal. If we are DIY, we should record this into sales return journal. Okay, remember, these are known as these are known as books of prime entry. There are seven books of prime entry. These two are these two are uh, the two of them. Okay, once again, help me to split the dollar column into two. Begin by writing the date, 7 February 2018. Okay, follow the document, write the date. Twenty eighteen February seven. Okay, is that trade discount stated in the credit note? Yes, the five percent is the trade discount. Five percent is the trade discount. Okay, now let's record. Let's record. Here, write the name of our supplier. Write DIY Enterprise. Put a dash. Write goods. Next line, put a dash, write trade discount. If you cannot see, you let me know, yeah? Amount before trade discount, 34. One point seven zero is the trade discount. Put in bracket, 32.3 is the final amount. On the same day as February 7, we would transfer this amount to an account known as DIY Enterprise Account. To the debit side, to the debit side. Because based on the DAP entries you learn, we should debit the debit the supplies name, and then credit purchaser returns account, okay? If you are not sure, you have to refer to your, to your part three. Okay, now here, right, what? Here, right, purchaser returns. Write the same date. Okay. Okay, now we are in the shoes of DIY. We record into sales return journal. Details, you write what name of our customer, Abu Enterprise. Put a dash, write goods, put a dash, write trade discount. So every mean remain the same as what you have in the purchase return journal. Okay, it's the same as what you have in the purchase return journal, except the name. Okay, just copy and paste from the left. On the same day as February 7, you would transfer this amount to Abu Enterprise account. Here you write sales returns. Then write the date. Okay. So if you have any question about this page, you let me know now, okay? Let me know now. If you have done writing, you let me know now.